Hi, I'm Terry Meyer, president of Team Lab Chemical Corporation based in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. We're here today to talk about our new 3D sonar imaging boat that we can come out to city municipalities or any wastewater stabilization pond and do a 3D sonar imaging of their waste stabilization pond and that way gives us the depth of their exact sludge. Many cities over the years have no idea how much sludge they have built up in their stabilization pond. With this new 3D imaging technology, it's gonna enable cities to know exactly how much sludge they have in their pond, which equates to more efficiency of their pond and better hydraulic retention days. And so that's why we're promoting this. We've been doing the sludge judging for years, going out in the boats with Minnesota Rural Water people, North Dakota Rural Water people, with the old fashioned sludge judging getting good results and then we graduated up to some little you know i call them remote toy boats and they did work you know very well but once we found the technology of this 3d sonar imaging boat we decided to jump in and make the investment and we're going to get the customer a way better end product and we'll be able to do this imaging and it'll just show the cities exactly what they have in their ponds the history of wastewater treatment ponds in the states of Minnesota and North Dakota are. In 1955, the city of Maddock, North Dakota was the first wastewater treatment pond of its kind. Now, about 78% of all wastewater treatment in the state of Minnesota is done via a stabilization pond. And the reason why stabilization ponds are so prevalent is, is they do a great job with natural bacterial treatment to meet NPDES effluent wastewater standards. Stabilization ponds are designed as a secondary treatment process. And over the years of continuous treatment, biosolids start to build at the base of the pond. As the sludge builds over time, we lose the hydraulic retention time. And what that means is we, we lose the ability for treatment to take place because we have less space. As a wastewater pond operator, it really is important to understand what your solids content is in your wastewater treatment pond. What we ultimately want to do is optimize your treatment process and give you the best effluent quality. There are a couple of ways. If you do have excessive solids, you may need to look at dredging concepts or you may be able to look into some type of augmentation process. These are the things that uh, you know, we've learned over these years that uh, have been very effective. And uh, at the end game, to meet your NPDES permit and uh, have good effluent quality water for our waters in the state of Minnesota. The new 3D sonar imaging boat is a six foot long boat that weighs 105 pounds and is remotely operated from the banks of the city stabilization ponds. So that way, nobody has to get in the water to do any sled judging. We're doing it remotely from the banks and for the safety of all the operators. The 3D sonar imaging boat allows us to take 20 readings per second, thus giving us a way better 3D imaging of the bottom of a pond. The city will get a report once the 3D sonar imaging is completed. And in that report, it's a very detailed report that has the, the depth of the sludge, the average depth of the sludge, the cubic yards of the sludge, and also the gallons of sludge that's accumulated in your stabilization pond over the years. And then we equate that into like what it cost to mechanically move that compared to being on a bio augmentation program. And that comes in a full four page report. Contact Team Lab for your sludge judging with our 3D sonar imaging boat today.